So you've seen all the AI generated commercials and video going around and I'm guessing you want to create some of your own. You're in the right place. Today I'm going to try to cover all of the necessary steps, but you do need to understand that some of these tools require a paid subscription. However, I know that all of us aren't swimming in cash, so I've provided some links in the video description to a couple of free alternatives. I should state that this is just my method. You can skip any of these steps or use alternate AI services. Just do whatever works for you. I'm simply walking you through my process. Hopefully though, the information we cover is enough to get you started. And again, if you need to find workarounds for your budget, you can. All right, and I hate to do this, but you know, like the video, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill. It really does help us as creators. Uh, when you support us in that way. So I appreciate you guys. And lastly, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Uh, these are just the tools that I use. So again, find what works for you. All right. Today, we're going to be breaking down the WinCash and Kaching Law Suity Firm commercial. Uh, if you haven't seen it, there's a link provided in the video description below. So check it out. Let's get started. Step one, chat GPT. Head over to openai.com, uh, sign up or log into your account and fire up ChatGPT or GPT-4 if you're a paying subscriber. Uh, either will work for our purposes. I always start my sessions with GPT by giving the robot a few compliments. We don't know what the future holds, so you know it's best to get on their good side. All right, once we've pacified the robots, it's time to come up with our business name and generate our script. Uh, getting a business name is as easy as asking GPT to generate, you know, 10 or 20 names. Uh, tell it the type of business you're looking for. You can ask it to be humorous, but I've had really mixed results with that. So once it's generated our list of names, we just pick our favorite. Again, if you don't see something you like, just re-roll the prompt. Okay, we've locked in our name, so now comes the script generation, right? I usually start by prompting GPT to write the full script. Uh, try something like voiceover script for a you know, personal injury lawyer commercial or whatever your type of commercial is. Uh, you can either have it generate the full script, you know, normally as it would, uh, or you can ask it specifically to generate using broken English, which is what I do to get the kind of stupid sounding voiceovers that I get for these script commercials. Uh, from there, you can use whatever it outputs or ask it for additional versions. Once I've got three or four script versions that have a couple of funny lines, I'll grab all of those, drop them into a Google Doc, and then just start kind of cutting and pasting it together based on its outputs. You know, just looking for the funniest lines, anything that I find humorous, uh, and I'll piece the full version together generally from, you know, the outputs of three or four scripts. All right, once we're done assembling that, we're gonna move on. Step two, 11 Labs Speech Synthesis. All right, we've locked our script. Let's generate the voiceover. Head over to 11 Labs and fire it up. Now this is a subscription-based service, but I believe you get a free trial of some kind. If there's no longer a free trial or you're looking for an alternative, I would just say head over to Google. I'm sure there's plenty out there that will, will, will do the same thing for us. If you are using 11 Labs, the first thing we need to do is choose which voice we're gonna use. If you can't find one from their pre-made voices, you can always create your own. Uh, you can either use their tools to sort of craft your own AI voice, or uh, using one minute of clear audio, you can replicate your own voice or your friend's voice or your mom's voice, whatever you wanna do. Uh, if you're going to do that, please record your audio in a closet or a super quiet area that doesn't have a echo or any background noise. That will make the uh, AI voice work much better, you know, give you much better results. So uh, I have found that 11 Labs currently isn't really great with pacing or adding breaks between the dialogue lines. So often I will output the voiceover in small sections. So just copy and paste small parts of your script into 11 Labs and push the generate button. Uh, if you don't like what you get, just push generate over and over again. Uh, unfortunately, this will eat up some of your credits. So user beware. We'll just have to kind of figure out what works best for you depending on the results you're looking for. Um, and if you are outputting this in smaller chunks, it makes it much easier to sort of reassemble everything in your favorite audio or video editing software later, and that way you can sort of change the pacing as you go through your edit. Uh, after we've created each clip, uh, make sure you click this little download button in the bottom right to save each file as you move on. All right, the boring part is done. Let's get on to the fun part and create some visuals. Step three, runway gen two. Now we're gonna create some video clips for our project. This is where runway gen two comes in. 
Unfortunately, Gen 2 is in a closed beta right now and is not open to the general public. Uh, you can use something like Runway Gen 1 to create the clips, but as of the time of this recording, it only allows you to upload a video clip and then alter its output via a text or image prompt. So uh, maybe I'll cover some stuff with Gen 1 later, um, but unfortunately for you guys, I'm gonna use Gen 2 for this process. Currently, Gen 2 does work via the Runway Discord and it does allow text to video prompting. So for our purposes, we're gonna try something simple like uh, a multicultural group of lawyers smiling in front of a bookshelf in an office, 1980s. You're not gonna get exactly what you want immediately. Text to video is still very much in its infancy, so your results are likely to be really hit or miss. Uh, don't despair, just keep trying variations of your prompts until you get something that you like. I usually start with something simple. I try not to overcomplicate my prompts at the beginning. Um, so, you know, if you ask for a woman petting a dog, you're probably gonna get better results than if you ask for something complicated like a middle-aged woman with brown hair wearing a red shirt petting a shaggy black lab puppy. You know, keep it, keep it simple. This technology is, is brand new, at least on the consumer side, um, and it can't necessarily deliver when your prompts get really complicated and cluttered. So do your best to give it a, a very descriptive prompt, but again, keep it nice and simple and concise. Uh, you'll quickly learn what Gen 2 is good at and, and what it really struggles with. Step four, mid-journey. Mid -journey. All right, we have our video ready. We're gonna generate some images and graphics using mid-journey. Head over to Discord and start a chat with the Midjourney bot. Again, this is another subscription-based service, um, but you can sign up for a free trial that should get you, I, I believe, 25 to 30 image generations. If you're using the free trial though, you will have to use one of the general newcomer rooms in their Discord and things can get a bit messy, so be sure to follow along with your images as they're generated. If you are paying for the service, you'll get a private DM with the bot, which makes things way easier you know, to keep all of your image generations organized. If you're looking for a free alternative to Midjourney, uh, you're more than welcome to try something like Stable Diffusion, or I believe even Google Bard is now offering image generation. Uh, I, there are tons of free alternatives out there. I just find that Midjourney creates the best images, so that's the one we're gonna stick with. Okay, so let's get started by generating a couple of logo options for our new law firm. Just like with Runway, I find it best to start simple and go from there. So for this, we're gonna try law firm logo, simple, clean lines, vector, SVG. Uh, I find it's best to start my prompt with the subject and then sort of add descriptors and uh, work out from there. Since we're going to be generating a very basic logo, we're using descriptions like simple, clean lines, vector, etc. Makes sense, right? Okay, we've got some great stuff here. Uh, a little cleanup in Photoshop super fast, and this one is ready to go. Let's move on. Step five, sound raw AI, AI music. music. Ugh, I get it. It's another subscription service. I get it. I'm breaking your bank here. It's getting really expensive. It's 2023. I don't know what to tell you. Subscriptions are all just robbing us blind. So either break out your wallet or as I stated previously, just do some Google searching and find a service that offers you free music. Uh, Google did just open up their waitlist to music LM. Uh, and at the time of this recording, they are rolling access out super quick and it's free. It does only generate 19 second sound clips and they sort of sound like they're coming through a tin can. So keep that in mind. But uh, from what I found, it's incredibly powerful and really fun to play with. I have included a link to that in the description as well. Uh, SoundRaw is what I've been using. It's really straightforward. We're just gonna click create music. We're gonna select a mood. And then from this screen, we can change that mood. We can set a genre, a theme, change the length and the tempo of our outputs. I'm not looking for anything too specific here, so I'm just gonna choose happy for our mood, orchestra for the genre, and ads and trailers for our theme. Next, I'll set the duration to 30 seconds because that's gonna be the length of our final commercial. I haven't really messed with the tempo or the instruments, but you know, go nuts if that's something you wanna play with. All right, and now that we have some options, I usually just scroll through here and I try to find something that kind of fits the mood or the aesthetic of the commercial that I'm working on. Once you've found the track that you want to use, click the download button and just wait for your final music track to be output and then downloaded. Piece of cake, we got our music, we're gonna move on. Step six, edit that. All right, we made it, right? Or the robots did, but here we are. Okay, so this is where you actually come in and you have to do some actual work. Uh, fire up your favorite editing software, import your voiceover, your video clips, your graphics, and your background music. 
but now you're kind of on your own. Uh, I can't teach you to edit in this short video, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of a time lapse of my process. Uh, I'm using Adobe After Effects, which isn't ideal for editing, but it works for my purpose for this short commercial. Uh, you can use any video editing software you'd like. Uh, I have included a link in the description to DaVinci Resolve. It's a super powerful editing software and it has a full suite of color correction tools and a ton of other fun stuff. And at the time of this recording, it's free. And if you're unsure about starting editing or maybe you're relatively new at it and you, you know, you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, I would suggest just start poking around on YouTube. You know, there are countless tutorials out there that can walk you through the most basic stuff or, you know, more advanced as you kind of move through your journey. Uh, I believe in you. You can do this. Just jump right in. You know, if you've ever thought about it, stop hesitating. Just do it. Step seven, go viral. I'm kidding. You know, just post your creations, guys. If you're hesitant, if you're worried about being judged or is it good enough or what, just post it. You know, it can't hurt. Create a YouTube channel, it's easy. Throw your stuff up there, you know? Uh, and if you do post something, tag me in it. I wanna see what you guys come up with. Uh, these tools are so powerful. And if you're even remotely creative, you can come up with some really fun stuff. So just do it, you know, tag me, let's be friends. I wanna see what you make. Step eight, buy pepperoni hug spot merch. All right, this is a required step. You know, don't you wanna look cute in your like your pepperoni gear? I'm kidding. But if you want a t-shirt or something, just head over to pepperonihugspot.pizza. Get the cleanest pizza gear this side of hell. Alright, you'll thank me later. That is it. You are now a master AI creator and video editor. Good job, you. Alright, I'm kidding, but feel free to drop any questions you may have in the comments. I'll do my best to respond. Um, I'm also thinking about doing some more in-depth tutorials on prompting in mid-journey. Uh, I've been using that one for about a year now, and I think I have 35k images generated, something insane like that. So, uh, if you'd like to see something like that, drop me a comment, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll do that soon. Thanks again for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe so that you don't miss future videos. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Now go make some weird, creepy, demented shit and share it with all of us on the internet. And don't forget to thank the robots for all of their hard work.